I have these wonderful titles um, that people share. Uh, Olympic gold medalist, um, president of my company. I get to do my favorite, which is mom. But the one title I never imagined I would hold, certainly before the age of 34, is cancer survivor. Cancer. I mean, ca cancer wasn't on my radar. And that morning in the span of, I don't know, maybe a 10-minute, 15-minute exam, I got the shock of my life. I had a baseball-sized cyst on my left ovary, which, frankly, I didn't even understand at that point what that meant in the grand scheme of things. But it sent me into this whirlwind of tech tests and scans, and by January, I was sitting with an oncologist. I mean, it was just flat-out scary. I went into um, surgery. I was... Um, wheeled in that morning, still with so many questions, you know, is it benign? Could it be malignant? Did it spread? And then the ultimate question, is my son going to have a mother? And when I woke up, um, I, I got what news I choose to believe is very positive news. And it was mixed. It was cancer for sure. It was a rare form of ovarian cancer, but they caught it early. And for those that know, ovarian cancer is so rarely caught at an early stage. And I felt so lucky and so fortunate, and the prognosis was good. The fact is cancer doesn't care who you are doesn't care where you're from, doesn't care if you have time for it. Apparently, it doesn't even matter, matter how many gold medals you have. <laughs> a diagnosis of cancer sends you into this new world with this new vocabulary, and it can be scary and confusing, and we need those that can help us navigate the medical. We need our friends and family to help us get through. We need that supportive team. The insight that I've gained throughout the cancer process is the realization that we all have to take control of our health, get those screenings and exams, work to find a healthy moderation in your diet and exercise, and take that time for you so that you can recharge. Because the fact is, this is your life. We get this one, so we have to make it count. You have to get out there and own it. You have to get out there and say, you know what, I'm going to make my life, and I'm going to make my health matter. Thank you all very much.